Yeah. Here we go, Elizabeth, man. Elizabeth. Ugh. So why you think he named the album Supreme Blind Tale instead of sticking with the original name, uh, Chris Benoit? Do you think it was some type of legality? Uh, you know, something, yeah. something like that to, to make him switch it up before yeah. it come out to the public? Yeah, it might have been. I think, I think in a way he still left it because he wanted two titles, but... Yeah, it might have been, but you know, you think about Chris Benoit, you know, Chris Benoit, he came from nothing, you know what I'm saying? And he took his family out, he killed himself, his wife, his kids, he took everything with him, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it ain't still to this day, it ain't too many wrestlers, you know what I'm saying, that could, you, you can't put over Chris Benoit, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's still in... He's still in that top five, you know what I'm saying? That even wrestlers are gonna mention his name because he's one of the illest. And as far as the, you know, Supreme Blank Tell, we know where that come from. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. as far as like, you know, the Wu go, it ain't too many niggas in, in Wu that was, you know what I'm saying, keeping that essence going instead, you know, Ray and Ghost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Other niggas, you know, they, they really kind of fell off, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think it's in a sense of, of the light of restoring that feeling that, that's been missing from hip hop, like you were saying, you know, in the other entry as far as, you know, keeping that, that New York feeling, like a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, they went other ways trying to, you know, um, trying to stay relevant. Like yeah. going with the going with the Atlanta feel, going oh, yeah. just, niggas that went with the West Coast feel, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, yeah. you know. And that's no, go ahead, that's bro. a good point because and you think about this too, the uh, the West Coast kinda uh resurrected they sound a little bit. They kinda transcended they sound because remember, you know, around the G Funk uh era, you know, so called Yeah. Like like right after that it kinda died out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you had uh I think, uh, you know, like producers, like, I think one of them was Rick Rock. Mm hmm. Uh, let me think. Uh, I really can't, let me see, I really can't think. I can't think it off the top of my head. But they sound kind of changed a little bit. Yeah. And they kind of, they sort of resurrected them. Yeah. To, uh, to a new. To a new sound. To a new sound, to a new feel. But it was still, you know, I mean, you still heard the West on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, then, then uh, you know, you have the emergence of, you know, the new artists. Mm hmm Game, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, Game, you know, you know Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Uh, even the ones that ain't, you know, blew up real big, mm -hmm. you know, they kind of helped. Yeah. Co you know, cultivate that sound. Problem, niggas like that. Problem. Uh, 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 Dom Kennedy, yeah. you know, which is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, so what you think about Elizabeth's song within itself? Oh, Elizabeth's song in itself, man. Uh, I mean, it's straight to me, man. I mean, yeah. I mean it's good. Yeah. Uh, you know, the only thing that I didn't see, because right after, you know, the Elizabeth, there's a song called, we're going to get into that next. It's called uh, Meet Mean Gene. Yeah. In the 